About a hundred years ago, the Cameron used to be a hotel, so you'll see some old features of that. This is my room here. We won't be going in there, though. The bar, as it stands, was started in 1981, and the owners at the time decided to house a collection of vagabonds and artists, some of whom still live here to this day. It's a boarding house style. Everyone has their own room, shared amenities. As you can see, they've decorated the walls with art from lots of different uh, artists from over the years. Lots of different themes as well. Uh, it's colorful and different every day here at the Cameron House. Uh, everyone here is uh, an artist of some sort. They're all very knowledgeable and very interesting and charismatic. And uh, it's an interesting community to kind of be thrown into. It can be noisy, it can be uh, eerily quiet sometimes. Uh, there's characters wandering the halls at all times of the night and day. There's uh, interesting artists sitting downstairs having a drink. There's great music reverberating through the walls uh, at different times. Uh, not like any living experience I've had to date. Uh, this is the kitchen here that we all uh, share at the Cameron House. I've been asked what's it like to cook here a few times and the answer is the same. I just, I don't do it. You know, we're right downtown, lots of great places to eat and uh, laziness is probably a factor. But uh, always a good place to catch up with your favorite resident. Uh, lots, of, lots of good stuff happens in here. And drinking apparently. And we'll be coming up to uh, the office of Cameron House Records, which is my record label. And uh, kind of one of the things that's keeping uh, the Cameron House alive in many ways. Oh, howdy, folks. So this is the Cameron House Records office. This is the, these are the gentlemen behind the record label, Mike McEwen, Brian Boak. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your space here, guys? Well, this is the office area of the office. And that's the warehouse for Cameron House Records. That's where all the magic happens. That's where dreams come true. I mean, in, in theory. In theory. Not in practice yet. Yeah, but you know. We are in this office far too often, working on things like uh, Devin Cuddy's upcoming tour, upcoming record. We've got 13 artists at the moment. Yeah, this is where we do everything. Humble begins. Well, we'll let you guys get back to work, please. <laughs> Do your thing. I got lots of Whitney Rose stuff to take care oh, of. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah. One of the things about Cameron House Records was that we were gonna all do it together and figure it out as a, as a team and a group of friends and, uh, you know, have a fresh perspective and a different approach and, 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 and do it as a small group. I think that that uh, was very important to me. We are in the back room of the Cameron House here. This is where the music used to be all the time. I perform in the front room, uh, mostly. Uh, sometimes back here, but this is more of a practice area for me. The front room is brutal. People play the piano, they talk to you while you're singing, they grab you, and, and the front room being on the floor is very exposing, and uh, some people think you're an interactive art installation. You smile and you nod, and. Hopefully someone will grab them. One of your friends is close. You have a chance to play to all different types of rooms. Uh, busy and loud, busy and quiet, dead and loud somehow, and dead and quiet. And so you learn to uh, kind of overcome all those things mentally and you also learn how to play to different types of crowds uh, that will affect your material or how you approach a song. And the musical community here is, uh, is uh, pretty tight, I would say, and that's a big part of what makes this place great. Uh, it's got its own scene, and uh, a lot of the same musicians playing here on different nights, and a lot of the same people hanging out. Uh, it's a great way to, to meet players, meet artists, find inspiration, find collaboration. Uh, that's a big important part, I think, of this bar. I think it's been that way for a long time as well. I have always been a piano player. I learned to play piano on a piano and I've never liked keyboards and it's always been, it's this big struggle uh, for most piano players I would say. I have one that I like right now but at any time I would rather play a real piano. That's 
you know, another reason why I would call this place home for a performance, because I get to play the real piano. But, you know, it's a little worse for wear, but it still, it still works. I like it because of the lows and the big size of it. It has a nice big sound, and it's made in Canada. A friend of mine, Nate Mills, uh, always says when he uh, performs that the piano scares him because if it fell on him, he would uh, perish, and no other instrument that he plays or touches has such power. I live, play, and work right in this very room. I, I worked here before it was my home. I just started doing shifts to help out, and it was fun. It's great. You get to watch live music every night and work at a bar that your friend runs. And it's good. Well, we have a lot of characters in here, so we've had to throw a few people out in our short time. We once had to carry a guy, uh, four people, one. What, one, uh, each person took a limb and we carried the guy out like a suitcase. It was quite a thing and it was very early in the day too. But he said he wanted a ginger ale or we had to call the police, so took care of that. Living above a music bar can be loud at times. It can be uh, uh, very fun though to have access to that uh, all the time and be able to just walk downstairs and see great live music and local talent. Uh, it turns you into a bit of a night person because uh, that's when things are happening and that's when the noise is happening. Uh, my room is directly above the front stage. There's a hole between the two radiators and you can see usually the bass player uh, when you look through it. Uh, and it's, it's a bit of a loud apartment, but uh, when you adjust your lifestyle appropriately, then uh, it is doable and it is, a, is a, a nice place to live for sure. I got a girl, oh, she's a mere night worker.